Pastor Peter, please stop this. No, I can't stop this. I'm already on. And I know you are too. Ha. Not just pretending. No, Come on. sir. No, sir. No, sir. Sir, what is no, sir? Don't sign me now. This sir, is... please don't. Please let me out of this. No, please. you can't go out of this. You're already in. Why? Please. We have, excuse me. We have to do something today. Sir, you don't and have I know to you stop already, at this junction. We can't stop at this junction. I'm already going out of the way. Come on. Ah, excuse Pastor me. Pastor Peter, please stop this. I can't. Stop what? Don't Are let you me. trying to lock the door? Pastor Peter. Please don't do this to me. I shouldn't do what? You don't know anything. Excuse me. You don't. You mean it? I beg in the name of God. Don't beg me in the name of God at all. Just cooperate with me and let us do this business. Oh, don't invite me to this man. Huh? What has the devil got to do with this? It's between me and you. Come on. Ha. But what have I done to deserve all this from you? You don't know what you're <laughs> You dress like this to my place every now and then. And you think I'm an angel? Or a log of wood? No, come off it. Just let us do this business. Stop like begging each other, okay? Come on. But you're a ah. spiritual man. You're a pastor. I guess I'm a spiritual man. Are you not a spiritual woman? Ah, no, no, no. Ah. But, but Pastor Peter, what are you trying to do here? What does it look like? Ah. Please, better off your own dress before I force you to do it now, okay? Please. Stop this. I can't stop it now. I'm already on. Please, let us do this. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah. Go Pastor on. Peter, please don't do this to me. Please. Please. Who is that? Bola, I've noticed for some time now. You have not been active as you used to be. What is it? What is the matter? Please tell me. Please open up. What is the matter? You know, there is a say that a problem shared is absorbed. What is the matter? Thank you, ma. Um, my parents are Christian believers. But recently, there has been a guy that has been disturbing me for a relationship. A guy? In this school? No, ma. He's not in this school. Okay. He's in the Bovard University in Abuja. He's in the Angel level. An under level student asking you an SS1 student to go out with him, or what do you just say? Okay, what was the response you gave to him? After his persistence, I had to talk to my friends. And they told me that if I could play my games very well, my parents would not be able to know. And secondly, his parents are rich. And he told me that if I could be in a relationship with him, that he's going to take very good care of me. Is that all? That's a lie. For Christ's sake, don't give your love to him. Don't give your love to him. What did I just say? That I should not give my love to you. The truth about this is that the boy does not love you. He's just looking for an affair new to lure you into immorality in order to truncate your destiny. And you have a promising future. And that is what you must guard jealously. Plastic cup in hand. The 
Sticky Top. Give me the glass cup. Pick it up. Mama, I can't pick this up. You should be able to pick it up. No, ma'am. Well, you pick the plastic cup. I can't pick this. It's broken. Well, this plastic cup fell. You were able to pick it up. This is the life of a boy. When this plastic cup fell, you pick it up easily. But the glass cup is the life of a girl. When it's fair, you could not pick it up as you were able to pick this. You can see that the life of a girl is very fragile. And that is a lesson I want you to learn. The life of a female or a girl is like a glass cup. cup. I've been bola. You are a Christian, and your life should be a good example to others. Therefore, my advice for you is to face your study and say no, I mean capital no, to any ungodly relationship that can destroy your future. The Bible says you should present your body as a living sacrifice, only and acceptable unto God. And that is your reasonable service. As a Christian, you must be a good example to others. And my prayer is that God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go back to the staff. I love you. Please give me your love. Please. Benga, you act too so late. Yes, I already have a boyfriend. He's my lover and he's my everything. I cannot cheat on him. What? I thought you were supposed to be a Christian now. So you're not even as innocent as I thought? Oh, wait, wait. But please, you can also give me a chance now, Abimbola. Yes, you can also give me a chance. Anyway, you've been talking about true love. Do you know what true love is? Oh, yes, of course I do. The only true love I know is in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm a Christian, and I'm too young for all these things you are telling me. Benga, don't ever discuss this matter with me again, okay? Uh, uh, please, wait, wait! See, I'm, wait, without your love, I'll be sick. Without your love, my life is meaningless. I mean, but wait now, listen to me first. Pastor, if I give my life to Jesus, I go suffer. <laughs> Tembu, you go suffer. Why? All my addictions. I smoke. I womanize. I booze. All my gangs. Man, then boo, you go suffer. My brother. Eh? Suffering is for all. Believers will suffer. Unbelievers will suffer. But the difference is this. Once a believer is suffering, the Lord is with him. Even during that suffering, that period of suffering. Hmm. Let me tell you this. All this thought that uh, if you give your life to Jesus, you will pass through bad experiences, traumatic experiences, and nothing but thought from the pit of hell to prevent you from knowing the Lord and passing through the narrow way. They are thoughts from the pit of hell. Young man, 
Let me tell you the story about a man like you. Yeah, good. Yeah, good, the father. What's happened? I think he fixed the missing now. They should be here by now. I'll show Bikolo today who I am. Small but mighty. And you guys, you need to jail. Hmm? Piccolo! Dogu! Piccolo! Dogu! You think you can fight me and still fight another fight in your life? Sure! And I will let you know who I am! Small but mighty guys! Dagu! 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 We are sure you are a man enough. Let's drop this weapon and let's do it with our hands. Let him know. Be man. 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 Be mad, let him. 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 I say don't delete this guy. What is the way for? Let's go now. Guy, yeah. because you guys meet us here. We are in trouble. Let's go. <sighs> that juggle was me. Yes. Thank God that uh, Piccolo did not die. He actually fainted. You see, my, my life was terrible before. I, I lived all manners of horrible, terrible lifestyle. But uh, on a fateful day, I went for a revival program. And the Lord met me in the revival program. I was pricked in my heart. My spirit was broken down. And I had no option than to give my life to Jesus. Oh, that fateful day. When I gave my life to Jesus, He gave me a new beginning. He gave me joy again. My life began to have a meaning. And ever since then, I've been walking in the narrow way. My brother, the Jesus that saved me and gave me a new life can save you too. He can give you a new life. He can give you a new beginning. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Are you ready to be born again? Are you ready to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior? Are you ready? Pastor, I'm ready to give my life to Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. So, we are going to pray together. Let me have your hand. Repeat this after me. Father. Father. I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. I want you to give me a new life. I want you to give me a new life. I want you to give me a new beginning. I want you to...
That's good. I have to know, sir. Yeah. I'm done with the Bible study outline you asked me to prepare, sir. Okay, 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 that's good. Yeah. It's the same topic. Let no man despise that youth. Okay. Okay. Ah, this looks good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that's good of you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Alright, sir. Bye, sir. Okay. Ah, really? Sir. Uh, please sit down. Sit down. Uh, yes. This topic reminds me of um, a question I've been wanting to ask you over time. Okay, sir. Talking about your marital life. Okay, sir. Um, are you engaged? I mean, is there a sister you are getting set to marry that's already in the pipeline? To pastor? Not at all, sir. Uh, well, uh, sir, I can't be engaged without your knowledge. I appreciate your concern anyway because nowadays so many of our youth do just what they like. But others may, I cannot. You're my pastor, sir. I can't be engaged without you being in the know. The truth is, there is no sister, sir. I'm not engaged. Mm, I trust you. Yes. I know the quality of the Christian lifestyle you carry. And uh, I can vouch for you any any moment. Okay. Um, but then, notwithstanding, you still need to continue to pray. I will also be praying along with you. You need to pray to know the will of God in marriage, and to also do the will of God in marriage. Because it is one thing to know the will of God in marriage; it's another thing to do the will of God. Mm. The truth of the matter is this: many, many know the will of God in marriage. But they refuse to do the of God in marriage. And it's always catastrophic mm -hmm. to do that. I know that will not be your portion. Amen. Sir. Thank the you. Lord be with you. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Come. Thanks. Okay. Have a nice Bless you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Well, um, I don't know what to do. What's that? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's all about these three ladies. They are so pretty. They are beautiful. I hope to have one of them as my future wife. May I know some background information about them? <sighs> Look at this. Wow, who is this? <sighs> this is Kemi. She studied economic education. That's nice. Yeah, and her parents are not so rich. Wow. Okay. I'm coming. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. Now look at this. Look at this. Mm -mm. What a beautiful uh, lady. Yeah, this is this. Uh, BC. BC. You see, BC. Uh, she's in school of nursing. Yes, yes. And her parents are stinkingly rich. Hmm. And the last girl, look at her. Wow. Look at Fuluke. Mm -hmm. Fuluke, she's a law student. That's good. Her parents are also rich. Hmm. Let me help she, this. She's too spiritual for my liking. Let me help this. Look at her. Let me help it. Hmm. Oh. Be me. Hmm. A teacher to be. Yeah. BC. A nurse in the making. Yeah. And for look A baby lawyer. Oh. Which one will fit my friend most oh Holy Basaka Torumusha Holy Ja Holy Rafael Holy Gabriel So me which one you want your son to choose Ripashakra Basilia Holy Gabriel Holy Rafael Holy Ja So me which one you want your son to choose? 
Ripa Shaka Robo Shelia. Among these three uh, ladies. Bola. Rima Kapo. Why do you turn to be a prophet? Pelikamia, don't uh, interrupt. <laughs> Yali <Yale> Kaura. <laughs> the angel is about to speak. <laughs> Ripa Supromo Shendaba. Aliura Shamia Gada Hukumusa. Holy Jack. <laughs> It's not a joking matter, it's not a laughing matter. Riba Asato Lakum Shah. Voila! Come on, let's go! No problem. Ah, How are you, man? I'm fine. How's everything? But I was told you traveled. Yes, I actually traveled. I'm just coming. Oh, how was your journey? It was fine. You're welcome, man. Hi, uh, uh, fine. Let's go in now. I'm beautiful. I have a, I have two places to touch. Oh. Hey, yeah, you brought what something from me. What a caring sister. Oh, bless you. Mr. Boss, hey. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Maybe I will even use this big bread. Absolutely. All right, ma. Thank you very much. Thank you. God Bye. bless you. You don't do what? You don't know anything. Excuse me. You don't? You mean it? I beg in the name of God. You don't beg me in the name of God at all. Just cooperate with me and let us do this business. Who oh, don't invite me to this man? Huh? What has the devil got to do with this? It's between me and you. Come on. Uh, but what have I done to deserve all this from you? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you dress like this to my place every now and then. And you think I'm an angel? Or a log of wood? No, come off it. Opera. This is Osiyemi Street. The next street after Osiyemi is Abegude. In case you want to resist arrest, make sure you be with him. Yes, yes sir. Help me. You are under arrest. For what? Don't ask me that. When you get to a station, you'll get to know. But for what crime? Please. Find them out. What crime have I committed? Please move. 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 Please Pastor Peter 
was a genuine man of God. Ah, this is a big lesson to me. But I thank God it was not a bitter one. Now I can see the danger in ungodly visitation and careless dressings. Thank you, Jesus. As I was saying earlier, marriage is an institution created by God, ordained by God, but it is meant to be operated by man. And by this I mean a man and a woman. So when you're praying to know God's plan for you as your future partner, you don't close your eyes at all. As a matter of fact, you need to open your eyes wide. Because if you close your eyes, you might land yourself in a big mess. And by this I mean you might end up choosing or marrying someone, a man or a woman, whom you don't love at all, under the pretext that he or she is the will of God for you. So you need to remember this, that it was in those days that God chose husband or wife for his people. He no longer does that. When he did it for Adam and Eve, Adam said, the woman that you gave me, she gave me the fruit and I ate it, blaming God. And from that time on, God no longer chose a wife or a husband for any of his children. You need to shine your eyes, both spiritually and physically. God has given every man the free will to choose his wife and every woman the opportunity to choose a husband. And you need to remember this. The word of God says that trust in the Lord with all your hearts and it will give you the desires of your heart. So all you need to do is to trust in the Lord and then take a step of faith and choose a man or a woman that you have desires and everything will be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen! Yes! I got it! That's the realm of the world! That is the world! Ah! I got it! Ah, I got it! You see, I've been in love with you for more than a year. I've traveled far and wide. I could not meet a leader that, that I love so much. You see, I consider your beauty, your intelligence, they are worth more than gold. Your love in my heart is more than a mansion. See, BC, I want you to marry me. I want you to marry me, BC. I want you to marry me. Yes. <laughs> she can't just resist this. She can't. <laughs> Something will go. Something will go. Yes, she can't resist this. Just come and marry me. <laughs> no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, please, I need you to speak to me. I need you to speak to me about the dream I had concerning Sister Bosse, bringing me an egg in the dream. Could it be a sign you are giving Jesus that she's my wife? Could it be a sign? Father, I need to know. Lord, I don't want to make a mistake in my marital life. I want you to speak to me, Lord. I'm ready to do your perfect will. Father, that look so quick. Kamunda, what do you say is your problem? We are here to, to fight for solution to it. Carlos! Thank you, Mamunda. The good mother of the mammoth. I had succeeded over the lives of many brothers right there on campus, luring and seducing them to lie with me. 
reducing their spiritual life to zero points. But there is this particular brother whose name is Billy. I have tried so much to lure him to sleep with me. But all my effort has proved a party. Be good mother. I need your help. In order to lure him. Because he had read so many havoc to the kingdom of our grandmaster the Lucifer. That is my request, my lord. Is that all? Yes, my lord. Kendra, do a report of Mami for me. Kamunga, put your hand in the pot and take her neck. We are going to use the power of dream and pleasure for you. You will present this head to him as a token of love. Immediately he hits it. Your love will begin to flow like a river in his heart. He will not be able to resist you any longer. Thank, Thank you, you, my Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank you, you, the good mother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I did not eat that egg. Evil egg. Ah. Jesus, I thank you. Father, I thank you, Lord. I'm grateful. Jesus, you're wonderful. Ah! Baba, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So happy. Okay. Can this stop go on this case? I think this case is too long for it. For what? Let me see. I don't like it. Mm. Don't you have any other one you can use? I have, I just wish to be like free, you know? It's not bad, but I don't, for me, I don't like it. Okay, I'll change it. All right. So, about your first question. Okay, what about it? Let me ask. Why do you want to know? Sister BC. Oh! You're asking me why I want to know. Yes, of okay, course. Okay, I will tell you. I'm your friend. And you know it. And besides, I'm the sister's coordinator of our fellowship. I need to know so that I will pray along with you. <coughs> or don't you think it is fine that way? Hmm. Okay, oh. Sister's coordinator. Mm -hmm. Your member is engaged to a brother. Wow. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And she did not even tell me. Mm. So, I'm sorry. But, who is this lucky brother? Oh, well, 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 well. The name of the brother is... Guess. You know I'm not good at guessing. Mm. Mm. But if it is Bible, you will guess, right, Abby? Uh, uh, very well. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Bro, something. Bro Samson? Mm hmm Is it someone I know? Yes. Bro Samson. Oh. Hey, hey. Come. Bro, our former... Mm-hmm. Dissertation. Ah, 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 ah. Oh yes, my god. That. That, that's very good. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank so I'm so happy to Thank you, Remy. Thank you. But come. I feel to the past about it. Mm, not at all. You know, bro, something said we should not inform any pastor. Not until when the wedding preparation is solid. Hmm. No. Sister Bisi. 
My candid advice is that you should inform your pastor. And also encourage Brother Samson to do the same. For two major reasons. Your pastor will pray with you and also give you the necessary counseling. Oh, what do you think about it? Okay. I'll think about it. It's better you do. Oh, right. I've said my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I beg. See, okay. uh, this issue of white and black, I don't have white. I have this. Okay. This is off white. Yes. It's not bad. So that nobody will come up. Nobody will now. do that. Nobody. Awesome. I just know how to express myself. Uh, but hmm. keep flattering me then. No, 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 no. Are you enjoying yourself? Mm. <laughs> well, mm. if I should say I'm enjoying myself here, you know. Sure. I don't know what you were doing next, like, so that it's one being below. And what's so here I'm just trying. I'm trying, so I need a better place. Better place like where? Okay. I keep thinking about it. You keep thinking about Let what? Think about but it's already in your heart. <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. <laughs> so, let me ask you a question. And uh, then what is it? Can you promise me that you will not date any other lady beside me? <laughs> okay. My dear Angel, mm -hmm. I promise you with the whole of my heart that I would not date anybody. Mm. My body belongs to you and your body too as well. Belongs to me. Yes. Well, how do you mean your body, my body or whatever? I, I, I'm not together. I don't understand it. You want more than a gold. And there is nothing on this earth that I will not do just to make sure that you're okay. Uh -uh. Yeah. Huh? You're beautiful. Is it to that extent? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. My date and my life are in your hands. They are right there in your palm. Mm. You can do whatever thing you like to do with it. Mm. Mm? Okay. Okay, what? Mm. Come on. You don't know your what. You want more than a million and a half. The Rema. The Rema. Rema. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, let me finish. Your mouth wide and close your eyes. Close it very well. You are seeing it. You see my finger. Come on, open it. Open. What is that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just. Okay. I don't okay. Let me hide wait before I leave this place. Yes, I What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Who do you think uh, you are chatting with? You guys are not just serious. You said you don't want to hurt me. Still, what are you doing? Girls. And who is that? Mm. 
Huh? Um, he's just a friend and not really a friend. Busy, my dear. Now that we're in the final year, and of age too, I want you to pray. Take your time to pray through. The will of God is very important in marriage. And it's the narrow way that most nowadays youth, they don't like to work in it. Whoever chooses to work in it will have great joy and peace. And I want you to be serious with that. Mm, yes, ma'am. Mm? Um, I want to go to bed. Okay. Um, come on, let's pray. Alright, mom. Lord Jesus, I want you to guide my daughter concerning her future marital life. Take control in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me have a wonderful sleep tonight and visit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for today. You. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Alright. Yeah. My mom. Good night. <laughs> Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Ah, oh Lord, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, here I am, oh God. I have come to seek your face concerning my marriage for life. Ah, Lord, I don't want to miss it all. Lord, please choose for me. Lord, choose for me, oh God, the man after your own heart. Lord, please do me this favor, and I will testify, and I will praise your name. Lord Jesus, remain mommy for good. Let me not misuse in life. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God. John, your word tells me that I should call upon you and that you will answer me and show me things to come. Lord, please remember me for good. Let me not miss it, O oh God. Let me not miss it, O oh God. Father, have your way in my life. Lord, please, let there be a divine connection. Lord, divine connection is what I need, O oh God. Divine connection is my desire. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Sister Bimbo, how are you? I'm very fine. How is everything? Very fine. And how was the service yesterday? It was fine. Mm. In fact, that's why I came. Mm. I want to know why you did not come yesterday. <laughs> I traveled. I just came in this morning. I thought as much. Thank you. So you really miss such meetings. Yes. And was uh, Bro Samson in the church yesterday? Because for the past three weeks, I've not been seeing him in church. Bro Samson. Yes, my sister. My sister, it's a long story. Long story? What happened? Bro Samson no longer attend our church. You mean that? What happened? He said he's not comfortable with the standards of our marriage. And he's almost getting married. And which church is he attending now? Pastor Peter's church. Jesus! No! Pastor Peter? That preaches heresies. My sister, it had become a burden in my heart. You know, I was not happy about it. I think we need to raise altar of prayer for him first. It, it is important. The next intercessor's prayer, I think we need to pray for him. I agree with you. And I think we should just do that on Friday. It's okay. Yes. Uh, it's where the Lord will uphold us. Amen. The Lord will keep us in faith Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for checking on the shabby stuff you shared for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How is my face? Bless God. Thank Are you sure that God has doubly spoken to you about her? Yes, sir. Because in, in, in the matter of marriage, my brother, it's not just 
for one to be convinced, one would be doubly convinced. You must have catalog of uh, testimonies, revelations, and convictions. Can you just share one with me? Yes, Pastor. Um, I remember one of the times I was praying about this. The Lord gave me a word in First John, chapter five, verse four. The scripture says, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. In time past, whenever I pray about this, and I discovered Sister Bimbola's name kept coming to mind, but I, I thought it was a kind of feeling I was having and probably thought. But after the prayer, several other testimonies and this scripture came i concluded and i know that this is not a kind of feeling for her it is born of god so i'm persuaded sir, that uh, sister bimbola is the future partner that god has appointed for my life uh, that's why i've come to meet you sir i i think i think um, you are in the right course. But um, I would still want you to give me some time to pray over it myself. Okay, so sir. that the conviction God gave you, you can give me to as your pastor or my brother. Thank you, Pastor. Please keep on praying. I will. And I'll be doubly sure. Thank, Thank you, Pastor. Doubly sure. Thank He's you. doubly sure. And he is over my life. I will do just that. So you come. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Bless you. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is unthinkable. In fact, it is a shame. I'm highly disappointed in the two of you. Sister Dola and Sister Pimi, that the two of you could be fighting over a single brother. Over a brother to marry? I mean, I can't believe this. You should have placed this on the scale of preference. Which is more important? Marriage or heaven? I'm asking again, I say, which is more important? <coughs> I'm not saying anyway that marriage is not important. I'm not saying that. But you should compare the two. Which is more important, marriage or heaven? How can you, because of a brother, be keeping malice with each other? In the same church. <coughs> now, you should have at least put it on a scale of preference. The bottom line is this, my sisters. If Christ should come now, if rapture should take place now, none of you will make heaven because of malice over a single brother. I'm disappointed. Sir, I was the first to receive Bradley, and I told Sister Penny about it. She did not say anything. <laughs> sir, this is true. She told me. But, sir, a year before that, I had received this same brother, Brodele, and I had beautiful dreams and strong convictions. So, Mr. Femi, I no, also no, no, have... No, 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 That's okay. That's okay. No, you should, I mean, you shouldn't do that here. Ah, what I'm saying is this, which is more important, this fighting and this malice that will lead you to have fire or marriage. You should try and forget the past. You should try and forgive each other. The point is this. I can smell something terrible here. There's a mix up here. Sir, it's not that I am not able to forget this particular brother. But this, my sister, should be able to know that age is no longer on my side. She can step down for me. But I think no, no, I received no, 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 him no, 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 first. My sister, what I'm saying is this. Which is more important? I don't mean that you're still not repentant. Which is more important, heaven or marriage? Huh? You should forget about this. Let this go. <sighs> will, will marriage take you to heaven? It will not. But I'm telling you that fighting and malice will take you to hell. That is the truth. I'm smelling a mix up here. That's a problem here. 
There's confusion here. Anger is not the heart of confusion. The two of you should forgive and forget. Eh? You should try and forgive each other and forget and allow the relationship that once existed between you to continue to exist. I'm talking about the love relationship that existed between you before. Let it continue to exist. What you should be praying for now is for God to lead you to the right man. I mean the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. And I'm sure that God will do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Femi, I believe you are forgiving me. Please, I'm very sorry. <laughs> what? Actually, I know he's a devil at work. I'm forgiving you. And I'm very sorry for my immaturity in any way. So I know it shall be well with us, by special grace of God. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. I like this. I'm happy with this. I think we can pray together, sisters. Shall we pray? Father, I want to pray for this, your children. Thank you for defeating the devil. Thank you for putting the devil to shame. Thank you for the love that once existed and that will continue to exist between these two sisters. I want to pray for them, Lord, that the bone of their bone and the flesh of their flesh will be theirs in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is well with you, my sisters. Amen, sir. Thank the Lord you. be with you. Bye -bye, sir. Bye -bye, sir. The Lord keep you. Hallelujah. <laughs> what has the church of God done to? Two sisters fighting over a single brother. A brother that has not even proposed to any of them. This is bad. I saw you and uh, you promised to to even tell me the reason why you left the church. You just vanished and I didn't see you after that. No, no, it's not like that. I did not just vanish from the church like that. You see, we should try and understand. You see, since my belief now is different from your belief in the church. So, and the two of them are somehow contrary. So, I don't think I should be able to... Brother Sam, to, to so what is it that you believe that is contrary? Tell me now. Okay, 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 okay. But really, since my opinion is different from yours, and you people are not ready to accept my own opinion, so what do I do? Anyway, if you insist, you are entitled to your opinion and beliefs. Okay. Okay, no problem. That is well. Very soon, brotherly. You will understand that I've done the right thing. Uh -huh. Bradley. Yes, sir. I sought the face of God concerning your marital life as I promised you I would. And um, I, I'm glad to tell you that um, uh, I did not receive anything contrary to your conviction. Thank you, sir. Mm. Um, but this is not the time to fold your hands and begin to watch things as they unfold. But rather, this is the time to increase the intensity of your prayers. <laughs> and as you know, the practice of our church here, you will still need to see the marriage committee for further counseling. It's okay, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Shall we pray together? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I want to thank you for your son. Thank you for the time of waiting. Thank you. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, the topic of my seminar for us this afternoon. The narrow way. 
What do I call it? Dinaro Again? Dinaro So, if you go to the Bible, the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. I want all of us to be there. Matthew 7, 13 to 14. Yeah, according to Jesus, the narrow way is a straight way. It is an uneasy way. It is uncommon. It is unpopular. Only few people, very, very few, are able to pass through this narrow way. Majority chooses to pass through the broad way. It is the way of holiness. It is the way of righteousness. It is the way that leads to heaven. Only the determined, the, the courageous in the Lord, the gracious, the zealous, pass through the narrow way. It is the only way that leads to heaven. Now, the bottom line is this. I mean, the big question is this. How do you know that you are passing through the narrow way? How do you be able to know that you are passing through the narrow way? There are about seven or eight things that I will want to tell us that will prove to you whether you are actually passing through the narrow way or you are indeed passing through the broad way. Seven or eight things. Number one, you must have forsaken the way of sin, the way of unrighteousness, and forsaken the devil. And you must be following the Lord Jesus. If you are doing that, then you are following the narrow way. Number two, if you have opportunity to commit sin like telling lies, very good opportunity to tell lies. But you refuse to tell lies. But instead of telling lies, you decide to say the truth. Then you are following the narrow way. Number three. If you have the opportunity to commit fornication or adultery, I mean, the opportunity just comes to commit fornication or adultery, but you refuse to commit fornication, you refuse to commit adultery, then you are following the narrow way. Number four, if you have opportunity to make fraudulent money, in fraudulent way, I mean, in dubious way, to be involved in fraudulent practices, but you refuse because of the fear of the Lord, then you are following the narrow way. Number five, if there's a situation where you have to fight, especially for your rights, you have to cause trouble, and for the sake of heaven, and you are not peace today, then you are following the narrow way. Number six, a lot of us our wives provoke us, our husband do things that don't make us happy, and we want to fight them back, or we want to keep marriage. But inside of that, you are not peace to reign among you, either your husband or your wife, you are not peace to reign, then you are following, passing through the narrow way. Number seven, this number seven is very, very important. We are in a perverse, crooked, and adulterous generation. But if you refuse to follow the way of the world, and instead of following the way of the world, you follow Jesus, you follow righteousness and holiness, then you are following the narrow way. Number eight. If you are giving to evangelism, you are giving to prayers, you are waiting and preparing for the coming of the Lord. You give yourself to fasting. Then you are following the will of the Lord. Let me tell us, brothers and sisters, if there is any of these attributes that you do not possess, it means that you are not walking in the narrow way, but you are walking in the broad way. And you will need to amend your ways. You will need to amend your ways right away. I want us to begin to pray now. Say, Father, are there things that 
I'm still carrying about in my life that is not to your will, that is not glorify your name. Remove them away from my life right now. Let me follow the narrow way. Prayers in Jesus' name. All ah, these attributes you will possess in your life. The attributes of holiness, the attributes of righteousness, you will possess in your life. Because they own, those are the things that will take you to heaven. They are the things that will take you to heaven. Ask for the grace. Ask for the grace to continue this narrow way. I did not surrender the totality of my life to Jesus because I had three boyfriends and each of them used to sleep with me then. But when I had the message, I decided to say no to devil and yes to Jesus. By the grace of God, sir, since the first Sunday of this month, I can boldly say that I am born again. Because old characters have passed away and new ones have come. Oh, praise the Lord. That's good. Thank you, sir. I, I want to join the workforce of the church and I need your counsel, sir. This is beautiful. This is just very, very beautiful. Thank God that you have given your life to Jesus. And I'm so happy that you saying that old things have now passed away and all things are becoming new. That's a wonderful one. Uh, I pray that the Lord God himself will uphold you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. And um, I also pray that yourself too you will be more careful. Run away from anything that will draw you back to the devil. You need to keep your testimony. And don't allow anything, I repeat, anything to take you away from the Lord. You can go and sit in my office while I conclude my studies. It is well with you, my daughter. Uh, thank you, sir. God bless my daughter. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, great. Great. It's lovely. Thank you for your time and um, allowing us to have this meeting. As I said the other time, on phone, um, that's why I said I will meet you at the Riaza. You have something to cover your hair so we can pray together. Yes, I do. Okay, so just uh, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, yes. Daddy, I want to thank you for this moment. We thank you because you've been wonderful. I thank you also especially for your daughter, Sister Bimbo. Thank you for this opportunity you've given us to meet together today. Father, I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. In our short meeting, Lord, I ask you to please be glorified. Amen. And let your name alone be praised. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, as I said over the phone, I'd like us to have a short meeting. That's why I said I will come and meet you here after the rehearsals. Okay. And thank you for allowing us to have the meeting. Thank you. Um, 
Well, I've actually been praying over the years and trusting God to lead me to a future partner. And um, I haven't prayed and received quite a number of convictions. I strongly believe that the Lord is leading me to you. I thank God for your life as a friend, as a sister, and as a child of God. So, stopping by, I want to tell you that um, the Lord is leading me to you to be my future partner. Will you marry me? Stop being bored. Say something now. Ah, Bodele, to be sincere with you, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked. I don't even know what to say. Well, I understand. Please, can you give me some time to seek the Lord's face about this matter? Well, I appreciate that. At least you have to hear God for yourself too and be convinced about it. So I understand. But for how long will this likely take you? I can't say. But as soon as I have a word for you, I will definitely let you know. There's no problem. There's no problem. And thank you for giving me your time. I appreciate it. You are welcome, sir. Please, I, I, I'm very sorry. I don't want to go to this extent. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You just know what? I warned you in the first instance. I warned you not to touch me, didn't I? Bissi, please forgive me. It will never repeat itself again. I'm sorry. Bissi. Don't touch me! You have done your worst, right? You have achieved what you want to achieve, and that's it. I have to inform Pastor about it. You mean you want to inform the pastor? Yes, of course. That we fornicated. Is that so? You heard me. I'm finished. I'm finished. Then you forget about the marriage. Forget about it. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean what I've said. Since you've decided to inform the pastor, let's forget about the marriage. I mean what I'm saying. Something that for yes. it's not your fault. Then whose fault? It's all mine. Who else? Yes, so <laughs> thank you, sir, for the encouragement and advice that you've been given to us all this while. Sir, I want to ask a question. Now that we are in courtship, can I start visiting him often and to also assist him in washing his clothes and cooking for him? You know, he's a very busy man. Well, there is no standing rule or standing order about that. I can't tell you visit him once in a week or visit him once in a, in a month or once in two months. Uh, there's no standing rule about that. No. But the cross of the matter is this. You must avoid careless visitation. Don't visit him when it will lead you to sin. You must be careful about careless visitation. That will jeopardize your wedding either before you are married or during the wedding proper or after you are married. You must not do anything that will make you cry. A lot of people have visited themselves carelessly and today they are lamenting so seriously. Apart from that, when you are visiting yourself, please avoid seeing yourselves in lonely places. Avoid seeing yourself in places that will lure you to sin. I mean, don't see yourself in secluded places. And then, uh, with the issue of um, uh, cooking for him and uh, washing his clothes, I see that as stealing. Yes, it is nothing but stealing. You want to enjoy marital privileges when you are not married. I mean, uh, it's not, marriage is not all about sex. There are other privileges apart from sex that follows marriage. Cooking for your husband is part of the marital privilege. 
wasn't excluded is part of the marital privilege, not just sex. So it's like stealing what rightly belong to the married couple when they are not married. So please, that should uh, that should not even be mentioned at all. Don't go to his house to cook for him or go to his house to wash his clothes. Leave that for now until you are married. The Lord will help us and then sustain your testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you understand what I just said? Very well. Uh, we should not be thieves. <laughs> Shall we pray, please? Reason. Mama, uh, I'm on my way. Uh, wait, I'll see you next week. Uh, don't go. Uh, so soon? Why okay. are you leaving so soon? Uh, you know, uh, I told you I have to leave early so I can get back to my base. Uh, Why is it necessary for you to eat now? Mama, I've already taken something. I'm already running late. I've had you, but I want to ask you something. About Bimbo. When do you want to bring Bimbo to me? Mama. Okay, Bimbo will soon come and know this place. Okay, we are making arrangement for that. Eh? So there is a special arrangement before your spouse can come and meet me? It's not what you think, Mama. You know, the Bible says that it's time for everything under the sun. Hmm? Yes. So, but don't worry yourself. I will soon bring her to come and know this place and meet you. Okay, my son. All right. I've had you. It All shouldn't be too long ago before you bring that to me. It won't, Mama. When we come, maybe in the next two weeks or before the end of the month, you can then prepare this your special I'll be, I'll be expecting it. All right, Mama. Safe journey. Bye-bye. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. God bless you. I need to rush now. Something. I wonder when we first, when we first got to your auntie's place, that we should sleep separately. But when you said there will be no progress, I should have gone now. See? Eh? Oh, auntie, you started touching me. Eh? Ah. Uh, our wedding is the most time. I warned you, sir. I warned you that I'm not in my free period. Hey, <laughs> see, <laughs> if let us pray. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stabbing, but we're going to pray that during this our courtship, the Lord will give us grace. Amen. We're going to help ask God our Father, help us, oh God, not to fail you in this relationship. Ah, Lord. That God is going to help us to stand with Him in fasting and in prayers. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, my God. Let me pray for we ask this. for your grace. Oh God. We are asking you for help. Help to wait on you at all times. Help to wait for your instructions. To wait in the studio. No, no, no. Ask them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray. We are going to tell God. Hmm. But those who finish, and we must finish well and finish. His purpose for this relationship will be fulfilled. Amen. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't we pray Christ, for Christ, 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 to make a shipwreck of our destiny. But don't we refuse to fail you? Help us to stand with you. Help us to fulfill oh, Lord. all of your God. Lord, we pray. Hey. Lord, we pray. Hey. To mess up. Daddy, if you to mess up. Lord. In the name of Jesus. I've heard this part before. Lord, Lord we Jesus ask for help. My Father, my in God, God the name of Jesus. God. Our wedding is a week time. And I am pregnant already. 
God. <laughs> this is not the way I planned it. And I'm sure it is not your plan for me. The scripture says, Marriage is honorable among all, but the bed must be on the fight. I know the truth, but I have allowed the devil to deceive me to do contrary. Samson, Samson, you caused this. You caused this because of or because of inability to discipline yourself. Ah, the only consolation I have is that our church does not lay too much emphasis on pregnancy tests. But I wish, how I wish this had not happened to me. I know Paul you know, and Jesus know. Brad DJ, this has been my observation. If you want to know true Christian among our sisters, wait until our wedding day. Hmm. How do you mean? The scene we witnessed last Saturday at Sister Dio's wedding. Did you express such? Her dressing was too bad. And very funny. She professes to be a Christian. Of course. That is, that is how they choose to do their own. So, I'm not making Wait, wait, wait. Are you in support of what she did? Why is her conscience as a believer? No, 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 not at all. I'm only saying that you should not allow that one to affect your faith in Christ. No, no, no. Don't, don't allow it. Okay, okay. I still want to remind you this. Next Saturday will be Sister Bimbo and Brad Dilly's wedding at Elisha. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I will, I will make sure that I put it in my diary and I must be there. But one thing that I so much appreciate in the two of them is that the two of them, since they have started their courtship, you can hardly see that they are into relationship. Yeah. Unlike YouTube nowadays, that you see them here and there every time once they have started their courtship. All the time. Okay. I appreciate that. And I pray. When it's our hometown, you will do better than that. Man, that has been my prayer. Praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now I dance like a winner, man. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now I dance like a winner, man. So, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Come on. Ah, this is the last day, and it is marvelous in our sight. Oh, the Lord is good. All the time. The Lord is good. Good thing you come to us. You were a practical example of the believer. When you were doing your courtship, you are an example of the believer being now that you are getting with it. <laughs> and I trust God that you will continue to be an example of the believer throughout the world of your marriage. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. It is where we go. Thank you. <laughs>
tried. Wow. You need to see what I'm saying. Not for the deal for us. Mm -hmm. Should I hunt? <laughs> Let's start with this first. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'm not stealing. At all. <laughs> wow. How many do you want? As many as we can take. Okay. Should I take all? Uh, yes, I think that's why. <laughs> Maybe you should have most. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. The Bible is true, two and better than one. Try you really need to appreciate her. See what she just packed for us. This is nice. I see you must see me show up tonight. <laughs> Let it not be a spiritual and body as we take in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, okay. Wow, I can't wait. Oh you know what? I give God the glory for the success of the wedding. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. You know, it's only God that has helped us this far. It's one thing for us to be helped by God. It's another thing for us to cooperate with God. And I thank God that He helped us and He helped us to even cooperate with Him. Now the night has finally come. And now I can't wait for us to finish this bandit there and get it to the bench. <laughs> so we are no longer thieves? Yes, no thieves. <laughs> now we've allowed God to serve us hot and sizzling, then we can enjoy it. Wow. Wow. Mm. Thank you. I don't wish you even toast to our wedding night. 
Yes. Oh. To a long lasting relationship. Amen. A home built on Christ. Amen. my virginity until my wedding night. But I did not listen. I've listened to different sermons about marriage. That the married bear should be undefined. But I did not listen. Had I known, I would have preserved myself. This guy God, I never see your time. This guy God, that's a beautiful. This kind of this kind of I never see your type of this kind of SMB only well done. See that how are you? I'm fine. Wow, you've done a great job. Let me join you. So no, 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 don't bother joining me now. Why now? Uh, the, the most important thing after this is for me to eat, so I'm sure you should get that ready. Don't worry, that one is in process. Okay. I just want to bless God that I married my friend. Ah, I can imagine if I had married another sister. Do you know, it could have just been a hell on earth. I'm also grateful to God that mm. I married you too. You know, Anytime I think about our home, I'm always happy. Within mm. the space of two years, see all that the Lord has done for us. He gave us a wonderful son, a beautiful car, and we're almost completing our house. Mm. It can only be God. To God alone be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let me quickly finish washing this car. Alright, let me also finish with what I'm doing. Alright. My God, I was warned. I did not listen. Oh my God, what kind of marriage is this? Since day one, there is nothing, 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 nothing good that is coming out of this marriage, Lord. He deceived me. He deceived me with sweet words. Her material things and I fell, I fell victim of his snare. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh I don't know. I will have listened and waited at the beginning. God. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. God, 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 where will I go from here? 